Hi ladies, welcome back to Glitter Mix Fridays. Um, today, red's not my favorite color for nails. Like, I'm not a fan of red nail polish. But um, I thought I'd do like a red and silver mix. Kind of Christmassy, kind of not. I don't know, kind of out of ideas. So, um, to start, I wanted to base it in this iridescent color. It's just um, iridescent from Michaels. And I'm going to be putting it in this jar that, um, had the same color in it before I just like mixing in this jar. So, of this, I don't think I want a full tablespoon. I'm just going to do two teaspoons. Alright, and then next I have some of this ultra fine silver recollections glitter. I never do take the tab off this. There we go. And uh, just um, three quarters of a teaspoon. I don't want too, too much. Alright, and then next I have this silver tinsel glitter. You guys know I use this in a lot of my stuff. And uh, I don't have my half teaspoon with me, but I'm just going to pour in a half. Wrong sign. Alright, and the last silver thing I wanted to use is this holographic, um, there's glitter dots, they're not hexies. And I don't have my scissors. Oh well, I think there's a And I'm not going to add the whole thing. Probably just... Um... Probably half again. I used two one-fourths to make a half, and there's still about half a package left. Put some tape on there. I just love the, the way those look, if you can see. Um, maybe I can... Oops. I was trying to get like a better angle, but there you go. Alright, now comes the red. So, I have these red glitter dots from Walmart. They're like 88 cents, something like that. I don't think I've ever used it, because like I said, red's not my favorite color. And I'm going to add... Um... Teaspoon and a half, kind of. Right, and the next, I have this holographic red tinsel. It comes from my kid at Walmart. And uh, again, I don't want to add too much tinsel, so I'm going to do probably half using two of these fours. I'm trying not to make a whole ton of glitter, and um, I keep doing that every week. I don't know why. And then I have this fire red holographic mix from GlitterUnique.com. Super cute. I love this. And I'm going to do probably have. Yeah, I'm going to do a full teaspoon. I was like, eh, I did. I have three quarters. That's good enough. It's kind of cool because you've seen the model, how it's layered like that. I think that's cool. And then I have some fine. It's called Matte Red Hex from Glitter Unique. And I have a lot of it. I think it was like an ounce or half an ounce or something like that. And, um... Do a teaspoon of this. It's almost like sand. You see how fine it is. Kind of grainy, you know. But you can see that they're hexes, which is the cool part about it. So, really like that. It's a really awesome sight. 
And then, just for some spangles, I thought these hearts would be cute. I love these holographic hearts. Oops, that was open. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, yeah, I'll do a teaspoon. Why not? You see, this I bought a tea a, a teaspoon size of this, and I've been using this for like a month. I use it in my swaps, and I just put in a teaspoon there, and I still have this much left. So, awesome. I'm just going to mix it up. Mm. I kind of like it. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of, I can't decide. That was like the one I made the week before last, the pink and the blue. Not my favorite. And I have like four tablespoons of it. Here it is all mixed up. Oops. And, um, I don't know how I feel about it. It's like, the colors aren't really standing on their own. They're kind of, you know, mushing together. Um, I'm going to add some more of this iridescent color. Add another. Oops. Right, two teaspoons. Ooh, that was a lot. Oh well. Now let me. Um, that's a little better, I think. Now I'm definitely a lot of holographicness to it. Um, not super, super chunky, but it's in there. Um, you can kind of, like, there's a heart right there. But, um, I hope you guys like it, and I will be putting this in my store in me if you like some. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.